the book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminadab. Aminadab became the father of Nashon, Nashon the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Asa, Asa the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzziah. Uzziah the fa became the father of Jotham, Jotham the father of Ahaz, Ahaz the father of Hezekiah, Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh, Manasseh the father of Amos, Amos the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Shealtiel, Shealtiel the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel, the father of Abu. Abu became the father of Eliakim. Eliakim, the father of Azor. Azor, the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Achim. Achim, the father of Eluith. Eluith, the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Matthan. Matthan, the father of Jacob. Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Thus, the total number of generations from Abraham to David was 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. And from the Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The wisdom of God is part of creation. Often, scriptures will intertwine the spirit of wisdom with the Holy Spirit. Such is wisdom tied to the coming of the Spirit. When Isaiah depicts the attributes of the Messiah, he will have the spirit of wisdom. It is the wisdom of God that guides creation. It is the wisdom of God that brings the gift of love and sacrifice to fruition in the Paschal mystery, the life, passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. We call upon the wisdom of God today to guide our thoughts and prayers, to help us not simply to grow in knowledge, but also to use that knowledge with faith, with understanding, with compassion. It is in applying these gifts together that help us to think and act with wisdom. We hear in the genealogy of Jesus Christ, many people, some infamous, some famous, some holy, some not so holy. But it is in God's wisdom that they were used in the coming of the Christ. One of the examples of great wisdom was Solomon. Solomon asked for wisdom rather than glory or power or riches so that he could lead the people well and in keeping with God's plan. Many came from the ends of the earth to experience that kind of wisdom and Jesus reminds us in the Gospels that something greater than Solomon is there. And so we seek the greater and more profound relationship with Christ. We seek, among other things, a greater wisdom. For in Christ, we experience the might and power and authority of God in a gentle, nurturing, and loving way so that we may grow in faith and in hope. 